All right, man, swap meet Saturday. It's been a minute since I made a swap meet video. That's because we haven't had any in a while, in months. But we've got another one. This was known as the Southwest Swap Meet. Held at the Texas Motor Speedway. You can see in the back there. But it's probably <laughs> a, a tenth of the size of the uh, the Pate Swap Meet. So should be pretty quick to get through this one but you know should be some cool things to see you know, it used to be called the great southwest swap meet swap meet but ever since it moved from the arlington ballpark where the texas rangers play um it lost its greatness <laughs> so then they've moved it twice already to decatur texas and now here and uh you know i guess they're trying to make it great again <laughs> uh, anyways man I'll cut you back on as soon as I see something cool what we got here Fury 3 convertible it's a nice little hit there Hmm. Where to call? <sighs> yeah, man. Some engines in there. <laughs> She's got a little bit to go before she becomes great again. <laughs> This swap meet, anyways. <laughs> you like me a wagon, that's for sure. Sixteen grand for that Elky. Yeah, this uh, this one is not very big at all. Like I said, it used to be a lot bigger from what I what I was told. Ten grand. Mm. Need your aftermarket Ford parts or Chevy. All your stuff that's gonna be made. Where is that gonna be made? Taiwan, Taiwan, Taiwan. This gas tank is made in Canada. Okay. Not much. This guy right here, see this guy right here, man? I know his last name is Savage. He runs Little Valley Auto Ranch. You spot him a mile away. He's always, always looked exactly the same. Man, you even got a bicycle guy out here, man. Pretty cool. Oh, 
Okay. What's my ass, though? A Western Flyer from Western Auto. Yeah. <laughs> Who remembers Western Auto? I hear they're still around, actually. <laughs> yeah. And I'm not the one uh, back home. Oh, look, I just sold one of these. Is this? Yep. Yeah. Hmm. I wonder what that one goes to. I don't like it when they're like this, man. You gotta walk way over there, way over here. Let's walk this way. They should just condense it, you know. They buy that already? <laughs> Dave. Don't do. Don't do that. Yeah. Don't do that. Don't do that. I can remember that it's a small number of blocks. Seventy-five hundred. There's his number. Nine seven two eight one four eighty three hundred. Hmm. Sixty eight was long. Nice. Yeah, it's badass right there, man. Okay, which way, which way here? Do, 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 excuse me. guy here too. <clears throat> oh, what's his name? Mike? Uh, I can't. Man, I forget his name, but uh, they might have it up front here. I'm real though, Rocky. I'm a real one. Well, I agree with part of it. Last day. <laughs> Hey, I didn't have his name up there, but uh, oh, I forget his name. I think it's Mike. Anyways, he runs a little, not really a yard per se, but uh, you know, he parts out a bunch of cars. He's been doing it for years now. I met him probably almost 10 years ago. You know, bought a couple of things. I, th I think I bought a couple of things from him back then. Tends to be a little on the high side. <laughs> That's cool. Two five five one three zero oh, four nine two. Oh, there it is, right there. Damn, they got shocks on it. Damn, that's pretty damn cool. I remember that. I only had one bike with that. So yeah, man. Like I said, this swap meet been trying to become great again <laughs> that's what 
that, that was the name that it had, the Great Southwest Swap Meet. And, you know, ever since it moved from Arlington, you know, centralizing the DFW, man, it, yeah. And then it doesn't help that we're, you know, it, we're, we're in September, and it's still hot as Bolinas, man. It's, it's, it's freaking, it's hot, man. I hear sweating, man. Oh, I remember this guy. He was at the paint swap meet. Yeah. Yeah. I don't remember what he wanted before. What do we got over here? Bunch of speed parts. Ooh, Malibu wagon, race car. No price on it though. Is that Camaro? It's Camaro, right? Yeah. Another race car. Good. Damn, three grand. That's a big block, an automatic. Oh, she's holy though. She's holy. Non air car. Interior could use some love. Yeah. I like it though. It's like they they sanded it down a little bit. It looks like I think maybe a T3. Another one. <clears throat> yeah. Cool man. Not that much. Three thousand. Probably dropped the price a little bit. Look at that. Yeah. That's pretty damn cool. Oh, let me let my shadow get out of the picture here. Heck yeah, man. Look at that. That is cool. I'm not a fan of pastels, but, you know, the colors, but, yeah, that's a cool looking truck. Oh, man. And, you know, I do like me the Hudson, man. I do like me these Hudsons. It's just something about them. Get me one of these one day. Hudson Hornet. Heck yeah. I look at the interior. Oh, look at that. that's something uh, missing that piece up here you know with the little ball there to help you turn the, the steering wheel oh man I gotta get me one of these oh yes I do oh man this is the shot look at the womb man heck yeah 
Oh wait, is this the deal right? Oh, here we go right here. Look. Oh, it's broken, man. Uh, bless this car, oh Lord. We pray, make it safe by night and day. Oh, no, it's closed. I can't. Yeah. Heck yeah. Alright. <laughs> Got the fake patina. Good title. Thirty-seven fifty. I tell you, man, I'm gonna get me one of those Hudsons <laughs> before I kick the bucket, man. I'll tell you man those cars when I see cars like that that have that type of styling I'm always reminding of, reminded of the movie um, it's funny because the movie is supposed to be in the future but uh, uh, I'm pretty sure everybody, just about everybody has seen it but uh, it's called uh, The Fifth Element you know Bruce Willis yeah, and you know he drove that taxi cab. <laughs> the car just had that look. It had that. Uh, it had like a retro look to it, but yet, yet it was a you know damn thing with a flying car. But <laughs> when I, I can't help but think they they took styling from cars like these, like that Hudson, you know. I gotta get me one of those cars. Those are badass looking cars. I don't think I have anybody that watches my videos. Now I have people that, you know, I see, I see my, the audience, the the age groups that watch my videos and a lot of them are, well it shows a decent percentage to be over, what, 65, but uh, I don't think, I don't think anybody that watches my videos is probably around when these were being used or were they I don't think so it'd be like freaking and they're over 100 years old <laughs> change look at that yeah it's nice like in 66 factory AC car man oh yeah I probably mentioned it a few times in my videos I had a 67 my first car man, I love me that silver paint on this well, I'm not a fan of the wheels but oh, 66 67 a bodies are damn near my favorite man and uh, I would love to get me a 67. Heck yeah. That's when you're serious about your swap meets, man. Texas Highway Patrol. Look at that thing. Oh, they're from Montana. Yeah. I like this car, though. Yeah, man, these people here, boy, when you, uh, when you need one of these things, man, you serious about swap meets. Yeah, 
Really? Yeah. We might have one of those. Mm-hmm. Ooh, she got fact well. Ford a genuine Ford underdash right there, man. 65. Actually, no. Oh, I saw it wrong. <laughs> I was like, I was like, I thought it was forty-five hundred. I was like, that's not a bad price. <laughs> yeah, right, man. That's fourteen thousand five hundred dollars. Yeah. Yeah, man. You know, this time of the year, like I said, it's, it's freaking still hot and humid, and muggy. Ugh. You know, it really deters people from coming out. You know, they should make this in the fall. You know, fall and spring are the best times for swap mates, man. Not definitely not, uh, definitely not any time when, even though this still qualifies as a fall, but not early fall. This is just too damn hot. Ugh. See this place right here, Chickasha, Chickasha swap meet. Oh, Duncan, I've never been to that one. But that swap meet, that swap meet has disappointed me two times already, man. Two, three, probably at least at least two, if not three times. It's like a freaking four-hour drive from here, I think at least, if not longer, and you know. It has just been, oh man, dead out there. So anybody who knows that that swap meet, I've been told it used to be a good swap meet before it was moved. And then, you know, this. Sorry, I'm in the freaking. I hit it when my shadow gets in the picture. This is 73, 74. This is 73, I think, right? Yeah, 73. 7,500 they want for it. She got a. Originally would have came in with a 350. I made a I found one of those in the yard. A while back. This guy goes to all the local swap meets. That's, he's got a really cool van. That van, man, it just it takes you back. It takes you back. Check it out in a minute on the other side. I wanted to see this car here. Bel Air, is it? Car. <clears throat> I'm, like, I'm not sure. Bel Air, Biscayne. Yeah. 600 bucks. Instruction of any containing lead or phosphorus into motor. Huh. A 
That's cool. I bet these guys who find stuff like that, like those, like those old gas pumps, man. They found them. They, you know, they find those out in the sticks, man. All these little t small towns. You know, people down there probably give it away to them. They're like, man, here you can take it, take it. We, you know, get it out of here. We, we need it gone. You know, we're gonna we're gonna take it to the scrapyard. And they get them and they bring them out to these swap meets and you know they ask them prices like that. But hey, I'm not hating on them. You know, that's that's it is what it is. You know, they doing the leg work. Go out there and get and find those things. You know, you're not gonna find them here in the city. You know, anywhere near the city. If you do, I mean, it's you damn lucky. Is that van? <laughs> that thing is cool. Oh crap! Yeah, it's a cool van. Everything the dog. Set of those Buick wheels, man. But oh man, I don't want to pay 300 for them. You know, I want to pay 200 for them. <laughs> yeah, man. Hold up a second. I gotta. Give me a second, guys. I gotta make a phone call real quick here. 996-2166. Yellow. Fun <laughs> box, man. <laughs> uh, we used to do that. I know, right? <laughs> We used to, we were kids. I know everybody's done that. Everybody. Yeah, I remember that. When we were, we were kids, I always walked past the payphone. You had to stop, man. You had to stop, put your finger in it. Make sure, you know, there well, no quarter or two left in it. Yeah, every now and then you'd you'd run across you know you'd run across a one that had a quarter or something in it you know but uh, yeah I'm sure you old school guys will remember that. Need a mirror? Center caps? Hook caps? SS money. Ooh, Impala too. Carburetor man. Sign man. Ice cold water man. Man, they got Trimex by the by the pallet. Check it out. One reason why I don't go with a standard. Look at the price on that. Cool. 
this cool old Dodge. I like this. One ton, too. Let me get out of the picture, man. I hate when I'm in the picture like that. It sucks. Look at that. Ain't that cool? Got that long bed. <laughs> Look at that, man. People straight selling the buggies. Come on, man. You can find those anywhere, man. Yeah. <laughs> I guess they must be vintage buggies. <laughs> oh man, I tell you. Everybody trying to make a buck. Oh. Check out the 91 LTD Crown Victoria. Is that what it says, right? Oh no, this is a Mercury. Yeah, this is a Mercury. Grand Marquis. I'm gonna tell you something, man. A bit decked out. Got the leather. Oh yeah, she's decked out. Yeah, but if this was a Chevy, woo, this was a box Chevy, man. They want at least twice what they want for this thing. Weird, you know, but it is what it is. thousand or best offer. <laughs> Same thirteen thousand or best offer. T tops. And this guy, oops. This guy right here. Cool guy, man, that's a cool guy. He's got sold me my my 66 Buick station wagon. He remembers riding these things. <laughs> yeah. Wish these were 15s. But yeah. Dude sold me my he he saved that car. They were about to sell it to the scrapyard. We found out he was out working, and uh, yeah, he picked it up. Picked it up from them, and ended up selling it to me. Got it for a grand, man. I think I mentioned. It. I don't know if I mentioned it, but yeah. Man, we're almost done. I like this. I like this thing. I bet it's expensive though. I like that too. This thing here. I bet I could probably get it for 20. I bet if I got from 20 bucks, he'd take it. You know? But I don't need more stuff, man. Yeah, this is his, that's his, uh, his Suburban. Guy that sold me the wagon. Cool dude. Well, I gotta make another phone call right quick. <laughs> Wonder what they want for this one. That's a good price, man. Look at that. 175. I remember that. I got a couple of these here. Oh 
man. That's memory lane right there, man. All right, for you square body guys. Okay, you see that? I couldn't see what they wanted for it. Short bed too, man. I just found one in the yard too. Let's see if I link a video to it. If I remember to link a video to it. Not a four x four, but still. Wait, what is that? Uh, yeah, that, yeah it's, I think it's probably, uh, might be close to the same year. The one I found was an 86. It's got the bumper guys. Yep. Steering wheel guy. thing is rusty. Final roll, man. Well, this is the final roll, guys. We are uh, almost to the end here. And I didn't find anything that I couldn't live without <laughs> or even that I wanted to you know even haggle on a price of man I don't know it's just in terms for me it was kind of a dud in terms of finding something cool that I wanted you know but oh well you know you, you I generally find stuff at swap meets you know but every now and then like this day you know I didn't find anything but that's just me. Obviously, you can see people, you know, walking past me. They got stuff in their hands. They, they, uh, they found stuff. I want to show you this though, right here. Ooh. Mm. That trunk floor is hurting, man. But I don't know if I've told you guys before, but I know I've mentioned it. My first car was one of these. This exact car right here. Well, not this one, but one just like it. You know. It the SS hood on it too. Yeah. But pretty much a plain Jane Malibu. Yeah, that's what I had. I want one of these again. Uh, no power brakes, but manual brakes, manual steering. Yeah. No AC. It's a bare bones car right here. They want 5500 or best offer for it. The other side looks, looks a little worse for wear. I'm pretty sure it didn't come with those buckets or that center console, man. It's just like the car I had. I had buckets and that center console. Automatic. Yep. I'm on the hunt for one of these, but this one's too damn rough man, for me. Rare, man. It's rare. Super cab. That's cool. This place is right in Arlington.
Excuse me. Oh, I guess they do. they're selling all these cars. <laughs> all right, man, that's gonna do it. Wrap it up for this. The Southwest Swap Meet. It's not. Uh, it's not great yet. So, yeah. And I'd say that. Uh, probably gonna be a while before it's great again <laughs> yeah it